Hello everyone, I'm Killer Snail, also known as Basic Tutorial. Uh, this is another tutorial in which I will show you how to get Macromedia Flash 8 or CS, the actual version, uh, which is out now. I don't even know which version it, version it is. So yeah, first of to get Macromedia Flash, you open up your browser, you simply go to adobe.com um, you go to Downloads, Project Trials. There you will find a Flash Professional uh, demo version, a trial version. You can uh, download it by pressing the Try button. Now another page will show up. Uh, you need to register in uh, on uh, Adobe.com with a new account. It, it is all free. You can download the trial for free use it um, for like 30 days I think and after that you will need to buy it. Uh, since this, this uh, program is kinda not a cheap one um, I will give you another option if you don't have the money for it. Uh, it will be an, an older version of it. Um, it's it's uh, at a Macromedia Flash Pro 8 it's the version I am using uh, since like five years. Years, yeah. So yeah, you can download the trial from here. Try it. If you don't like it, delete it and forget about Flash. Or download Flash 8, uh, which I will put a download link in the description. Um, it's only a portable version because um, this way it's like kind of legal and you can uh, use it like all the features but uh, don't need a license for it so yeah the download link will be down in the description so yeah let's move on if you downloaded the flash trial version or the uh, portable version you simply start it up and if you use uh, flash professional 8 it will look like this uh, in the newer versions it will look slightly different we'll uh, probably have more features but uh, most of it will be like the same like a uh, Flash Professional 8 first off you create a new document you go to Flash document obviously um, open it up and there you go this is your first project um, first off if you you are using it the first very first time, you go to modify document. Now you can uh, put the size of your document, like width and um, height height of the document, frames per second, and all that stuff. I'm usually sticking with those settings because um, if you are recording this afterwards for YouTube, it will fit perfectly in the 60 to 9 format, which uh, YouTube is playing at. I'm usually going with 20 frames per second and the rest you can uh, it can be on default because it's all good you can uh, afterwards press make default and every new project will automatically load with those settings so um, on the left side you have all the tools you can use for drawing cutting and all that stuff um, simply selection tools cutting tools, drawing tools, line tool and all that stuff. It's not really much but it's all you need. Let's use the circle tool. Choose a color. This is the fill color and the line color. If you are making now a circle you see firstly it's not a exact circle is like an oval that's because if you are not holding shift it, it will transform it won't transform correctly so if you are holding shift you can make a perfect round circle um, same goes with those rectangle uh, tool etc now if you are like I don't need those outlines you can simply go to the outline tool, select this little 
checkbox and now you don't have any outlines. Now I'm um, selection, selection tool good for selecting anything <coughs> and simply delete. So the way to draw stigmas is the way I do it is by using the brush tool. You can select the on this side here the size of your brush. Afterwards you can uh, draw your sticks or whatever you want. Uh, for my stick animations I'm always using a tablet so I don't draw actually with the mouse because if you are using a tablet you can do uh, much nicer smoother lines and stuff like this. But also if you are using a tablet you will have this additional button down here which is use pressure if you, you are selecting this you can uh, use pressure on your tablet like I'm pressing the pen uh, quite hard it's get getting thicker if you are pushing it soft it's getting like a thinner line this is very good for like blood effects or stuff like this explosions and all that stuff where you need to draw details and if you don't want to change to like um, thinner brushes, thicker brushes all the time you can just use the pressure on yeah that's about it um, yeah you um, best is you just try those tool out and uh, play with them line tool some guys prefer to make uh, the stigmas with the line tool in which um, in the end the sticks look look a lot um, smoother if you look at them closely but it will also take um, a lot longer to draw them up here is the timeline that's like the place where all the frames are and all the layers now in the beginning of a new project you only have one layer uh, to go to to go to the next frame, you simply press right click, insert blank keyframe, and you've got a next um, empty keyframe. So now, how am I supposed to draw the next stickman? Simply, you press this button up here, onion skin, and you see the frames before and after the frames before this and you can simply let's use the brush you can now simply redraw them on the next frame it's now a mix out of lines and brushes but I don't care um, go to the next blank keyframe or simply press F7 as a short key and then animate the next frame F7 next frame F7 next frame etc etc if you want to duplicate 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 a frame you simply go to it press F5 now it is duplicated up um, over here. If you want to add a field next frame with the same picture as you have in this frame, you press F6, or you can all do those, those um, with right click and insert keyframe, clear keyframe, etc. play the animation you can uh, press enter and it will go through or you press control and enter and it will actually uh, create an svs.swf file which you will be using later to upload to Newgrounds, stick page etc. 
and uh, the final pro product will be playing in this actual format. So let's add a new layer, simply press right click, insert layer and now you can uh, add stuff like above this layer this would be um, for example a second stickman or whatever you want now it's above um, if I drag it underneath the first layer you see it's behind it so it's simply um, the first layer is the the under layer is like the <laughs> the, the layer behind everything and you go to the next layer one layer higher 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 etc uh, to animate the head for example add a new layer above the layer of the stickman animation and throw your head now if you want a head which looks always the same like for example a nice circle you can simply uh, draw a circle press F8 which will convert it to a symbol or go to commands modify symbol no I don't even know how to find this right now insert new symbol and now you can press graphics a uh, graphic for a simple still image or a movie clip mm, the difference I will explain explain right now a, a movie clip so for eight movie clip and a graphic whatever <laughs> So move clips, you can add filters down under there, add filter like blur and stuff like this. This is kind of use, useful for like lights and all that stuff, or uh, fast motion etc, um, bevel, glow etc, which will look in the end like this. Um, you can also go into the symbol, into the movie clip by double clicking it. And now you have there a neo timeline for your movie clip. Now I can animate in this movie clip. Like let's make the head getting bigger. <laughs> for whatever reason. Add some uh, clone keyframes with F6. So, so it will be like enter and go. The head is getting bigger. And it's also glowing. Now if I add the head to the stickman, I can simply animate it frame by frame going along with the stickman. And now it will look like this head getting bigger, bigger, whatever. The movie clip is always repeating itself. As you see, Now the difference between graphic and a movie clip is first movie clips you can add filters and second you don't see a preview of a mu mu uh, of a you don't see a preview of a movie clip while rendering it like with only pressing enter you don't see the head grow <coughs> actually if I edit a graphic make their fancy stuff whatever to also play back like the movie clip but let's add this to new layer but it will also play in the preview mode which can be kind of useful if you are doing like walking cycles and all that stuff or a cycle where you need to exactly know where the frame is at the time in the movie stuff like this it will be simpler to edit it in the end so 
So, let's delete this stuff. I draw a simple circle. Over there on the right side you have uh, the color mixer. Um, select paint bucket. Select a color or go to the color picker. Select there your color, color and you can choose whatever color you want. You can also go to type and there's like linear where you can uh, choose like different colors can add more colors if you're clicking in uh, this channel here and it will look like this you can uh, drag around the lines play with it like the direction of the coloring or whatever you can also use uh, like a uh, radial which will make it like circular You can use it this um, to create like 3D eff effects or something like this, or ni uh, nicer textures than only uh, one color. And yeah, you can also import a bitmap, like a texture, texture, and it will look like. Uh, let's zoom in, like the texture you uh, I implemented there like a street texture or whatever you want so on the bottom right you see um, the library here are like all the symbols you are creating all the graphics you imported and all the stuff so firstly we have there the stone texture which we used for the circle it's automatically imported into the library because it's used in the project file uh, the graphic we used and the symbol uh, you can if you don't need any uh, something like this like uh, symbol one is like it's like an empty symbol you can simply right click delete and it's gone That's about it for part one.